Now let's take a look at a couple of the productivity features in Expression Web 3, starting with Super Preview. Super Preview is a local application that allows you to do cross-browser testing and debugging of your web applications. It allows you to view a page in different rendering engines side by side. Um, essentially, it takes advantage of locally installed browsers such as IE7 or IE8 and Firefox, and it comes with the IE6 rendering engine, so you can do a comparison of uh, your baseline site versus IE6 versus IE7 or IE8 or indeed Firefox. I've got a site uh, here opened up in Expression Web. Let's just open that in Super Preview to get an idea of what it can do for you. And you'll see on the left hand side our baseline rendering, which in this case is IE6. And on the right hand side, we have an IE8 rendering. If I want to add additional comparison renderings, I can just go and select those from over here. So I could, for example, select IE8 in compatibility uh, mode. I could select Firefox. I have Firefox 3.5 installed. Or indeed, if I built my site based on an artwork, then I can load up that image and do a comparison of those two. Let's just leave things as they are with IE6 and IE8 for now. Now, clearly, I can um, wander around this site, pan around it, see the differences. You can see there are some marked differences between the two renderings. I can also switch my view, so I've got a split view in horizontal vertical mode, and also this quite useful overlay mode that allows me to see the subtle or not so subtle, in this case, nuances uh, between the two uh, the two renderings. We um, we also can drill into these um, pages. So, for example, let's select the masthead there, and you'll see that it's selected in blue on the left hand side. Uh, they are the same element as then highlighted in green on the right hand side, but you see the original positioning in blue. It's not terribly obvious there. I'll select another element in, in a second. Down at the in the left of each of the renderings, you get the uh, box model information size and uh, position. And at the very bottom of the page, you get some details about the selected element, such as what type of um, tag it is, the width, the height, the size, the ID of the element, and the, uh, the class of the element as well. If we just move over here and select this menu here, you'll see that this is actually rendered quite differently in the two browsers. So you'll see in green there is the element highlighted in the comparison browser and the baseline we've got it uh, highlighted in blue and the differences as well in the box model are highlighted here in uh, in red. Now if we want to drill down further into the details we can switch into the the DOM view and we can see exactly the the markup that we're dealing with and we can even navigate around in that view as well and you'll see that selection is reflected in the visual view at the uh, the top of the page as well. I can switch my resolution, so if I want to see things 800 by 600, we'll see we've lost the margin left hand side. Let's switch things up a bit and we should get that. Also, if we want to just focus down on one particular element, we can use the lights out view that just dims the rest of the, uh, the, rest of the page. And then finally, one really nice feature is the ability to drag out positioning guides. So if we want to make sure things line up, we can just drag these positioning guides from the ruler and make sure that both our baseline and comparison view are in perfect alignment, which in this case, clearly, they are, uh, they are not. So that's a quick introduction to Super Preview. So Super Preview is about cross-browser testing debugging. We've also introduced something called Snapshot Preview into Expression Web itself, which again is a productivity aid, and it's about improving the workflow. Rather than you having to make some changes to your page and then uh, preview in browser to see that correctly rendered, if you like. Uh, you can now do that inside Expression Web itself. We have a high fidelity rendering capability inside Expression Web. So if we just switch on the snapshot view, we'll see our page rendered in, as it happens, IE6 here at 1282 by 1024. I can switch that back into IE8 view so I can select again what rendering engine I want to use and I can see exactly what that page is going to look like in IE8 at 1280 by 1024 or whatever resolution I choose. And that allows me to see that rendering inside Expression Web rather than having to step outside of EW into the browser, see the preview and then back into Expression Web to make further changes etc. Just improving that, uh, that workflow. Now, the other area where we've made significant improvements is around integration of rich media. And actually, before I look at that, let me just 
show you one other nice feature we have which is a, an Adobe Photoshop import feature so if you're building graphical assets uh, from uh, Photoshop say for example I think in this case we have a, a menu control then we can now open that up directly inside Expression Web. We can select which layers it is we want to import. The encoding type, so whether it's a PNG, JPEG or GIF, let's just go for PNG. OK that, and that then will be converted and saved for me at the, the specified location. And I now have that PNG file available to me to target in my CSS to produce that, uh, that menu control. So a direct import from uh, Photoshop, again, improving that, um, that workflow. Now, as far as Rich Media is concerned, there's a couple of uh, things I just want to show briefly. One is um, being able to incorporate deep zoom content directly into your site with just a drag and drop of that deep zoom element onto my page. We target the output of a deep zoom composer project which is this XML file here that describes the deep zoom composition. We have options to auto detect whether or not silver light uh, is available and then do a fallback to the, the Sea Dragon Ajax mode. We'll just go with um, silver light, change the dimensions on here slightly and OK that. And it just takes a few seconds then to pull that into my page for me. And essentially what it's doing is building a little um, silver light embedded application. That silver light uh, application will then sit on my page inside that uh, gallery div there and it's going to do a preview of the gallery images on the uh, on the site for me but present those through um, deep zoom allowing the user to easily navigate around and zoom into the detail of those in a very performant fashion very different experience to just loading up a a, a single gallery image preview so we should be just about good to go and if i just save that page and Open it up. We'll see there is our gallery preview and we can drag around it. We can zoom in to our preview and get right into the detail there. I'm not sure how well this will come out in the video. Let's zoom into our chart, for example, see exactly what's going on. And drag it out again. It's a very different experience than just seeing a, a static image preview of the uh, the gallery. It allows me to incorporate extremely high resolution imagery, but still access that in a very performant fashion. So that's the incorporation of uh, of deep zoom imagery. Similarly for video, I can just simply pick up the Silverlight video element, drop that in there, target it at a video. Now this is a tutorial preview to give the user the idea of the uh, the types of tutorials they might be able to get access to on the site and um, this will spark up expression encoder in the background for us and transcode to perhaps a different encoding format so another vc1 format or perhaps an h264 format we'll just go with the um, source settings thus being able to uh, transcode it far quicker than would otherwise be the case we pick a template for our video player so this we see a preview of our video player here and it is a fully fetched player so we can control it and it's just showing that little silver light video at the moment but that's a preview of the uh, the player that we will get again let's change the the size as it's only a preview it's going to be a small video player there are various different options i have to do things such as um, play the video immediately when the page loads, mute the video when it starts, etc. We'll just stick with the uh, the defaults, embed that onto my page. And we'll see now that Expression Encoder is doing that transcode for us. All it's doing in this case is just adjusting the size down to those dimensions I have specified. Looks like we're good to go. Let's just save that and again preview the page. And there's our deep zoom content and there's our little video it's just starting to play. When designing for the modern web, lots of emphasis is placed on creating page layouts and websites that are both stitched and I can sectional six phones. Q review, pause that, set the volume, full screen it, etc. etc. So that's just a very quick introduction to some of the new features in Expression Web 3, Super Preview, Snapshot Preview, Import of Photoshop files, embedding of deep zoom content and embedding of Silverlight video as well.